Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get familiar with the Solid Edge 2D drawing user interface. So when we start the program, we will see that we are we are welcomed by the Solid Edge 2D drafting free 2D um, main page. So there are tutorials that you can look at which can be useful to you and there's the option to um, upgrade to the full program to Rocket 3D. And what we want to do is essentially we want to look in the documents area where we have the ability to create a new drawing, a 2D drawing, to open an existing drawing, or to open recently used documents. We are going to go to Create 2D by clicking on 2D, Create 2D. And we are introduced to the user interface of Solid Edge 2D Drafting. This is also very similar to the interface of Solid Edge uh, 3D. Now, what we're introduced with is we have five tabs. We have the Home tab, the Tables tab, the Inspect tab, the Tools tab, and the View tab. In each of these tabs, we have a set of containers which contain the tools that we'll use. The Home tab contains the majority of the drawing tools that we'll use throughout the, um, this program. The Tables tab contains some of the tools we'll use, like drawing views, we'll see we'll use that a lot. But the other tabs we'll see as we go through, especially the view tab, we will uh, be using them uh, quite a bit. So when we're in the home tab, we see that we have these different containers here which control, uh, which um, contain our drawing tools. Now this uh, region here is called the drawing tools ribbon. and in the drawing tools ribbon we have each of these containers we have the select container which simply selects the um, places our cursor sorry to a select uh, operation which allows us to essentially select geometry that is in our worksheet we have the draw container which contains drawing tools such as the line rectangle circle by center point trim tangent arc fillet and so on so when we click a tool and we just simply um, use that tool, we're able to place the tool on our worksheet. The relate tool contains constraints or relations that actually constrains geometry to act a certain way relative to other geometry. The IntelliSketch um, container is also very similar to the relate container, but what it does is it actually places contains and uh, constraints, sorry, and identifies constraints quite easily and quite quickly so that they are shown on the screen while you're using the program, so in real time. So we have things like the endpoint um, um, constraint, the midpoint constraint, the on element, the intersection. So essentially, when we have some geometry, we can see here that we have something following our cursor. That is due to the IntelliSketch um, function. So it allows us to see when we go from a midpoint to being on a line to a midpoint and so on. So we'll see that we use these, um, the, these two containers quite a bit. The dimensions container contains the tools that we use to add dimensions, both in driving and non-driving types. And we'll see more about that later. We also have the annotation container which contains annotations that we'll use to add, uh, as well as the insert and the blocks containers, which we will add certain uh, special geometry to our drawings as we continue. Now, as we look at the user interface, we see that we have the current worksheet. To interact with the worksheet, our left, right, uh, and uh, scroll mouse buttons can be used. The left mouse button, when we want to select geometry, we use the select container and we um, can select geometry with the left mouse button. Now with the right mouse button nothing really is done. It actually deselects everything but if you hold down on the right mouse button it opens the tool wheel which we see presents certain options and this wheel will stay up as long as you keep holding on to the right mouse button. Now if we move the scroll wheel, one of the most important wheels, uh, not wheels, most, one of the most important buttons um, on your mouse we see if we hold it, we're able to move the entire worksheet around, so we're able to cause a translation. If we move the scroll wheel up and down, we zoom in and out. Now this is very important, and we'll see that in every program, 
um, the the scroll wheel has become very very useful and very functional and it's almost um, impossible to use any CAD program nowadays without having a mouse with a scroll wheel so we have a worksheet as I said and we have our layers toolbar which is to the left here our layers toolbar has three main tabs the library tab which opens the different folders on our hard drive the groups tab and we'll see what that does in a, in a while and the layers tab we'll also see what this does and it becomes quite useful we also have the prompt bar which is in the lower part of the, um, the user interface here we also have this bar which is a dynamic toolbar and we'll see that this is extremely useful as we go on and it can be placed anywhere when the program starts at default it likes to place it right in the middle you can just click and hold with your left mouse button and move it out of the way so that's it for now and just go ahead play around with the interface and get familiar with the program itself and we will continue on from there